that's fine. That's good. Turn that off. Yeah, the big slurry tanks here. So that slurry tank is on lease. Um, I can't afford it. <laughs> Even with the uh, serious amounts of cash that's coming in, I can't afford it. So, clean that off. is that so we got the milk truck is 4.8 hours pitiful um, 29 months I've got to start thinking about that needs to be paid for um, 93,000 we can get a little bit more value off that the slurry tank is um, 234,000 left to pay on it, so, mm -hmm. and uh, 0.7 hours, zero months. Uh, now this says 350 horsepower, that's if you're using it to spread stuff, I'm never going to be using this to spread anything. It's just too big for our fields. And then the last thing is the food mixer, one and a half. And uh, five months, it's got a long way before we need to pay for it. And that's only 45. So potentially, I could afford to pay for that if I wanted to. Still, let's take this over here, get this put away and already got a crate of potato tomatoes even. They're not little potatoes. Now well, speaking of which, our little backyard uh, um, what do you call it? Um, food growth experiment is coming on quite nicely. The lettuce is absolutely amazing. Pretty much any time I have a sandwich, I'll have a, a, a slice of lettuce fresh from the yard. Um, but there is now enough lettuce in it to uh, um, to have a salad. At least one person to have a salad. And we only have two of them. So uh, they're doing really well. I think that's still on mulch, which is fine. Once we've finished harvesting all the fields, they're going to need to be mulched a lot. Okay. feeling I'm definitely going to include a uh, tiny handler on the new farm. Okay, I want 10. Give me 10.
Ugh. Okay. Now what I'm not sure about is how many can I really put in the uh, the cart? very carefully this shredder's only supposed to hold two and they're supposed to be on their sides not vertical looking very bad. I think we have a bail problem. Oh, you want to see how much of a bail problem we have? Yep, the bail fork's coming with us. bad things might happen to the bales as the bale fork crashes into things. Now what I don't know is if that problem will be fixed. Whether it's a problem with a lot of things and this map or whether it's just a problem Anyway, if we're lucky, and I stabbed the bottom two bales, so if we're lucky, once the first one falls out, um, the bale fork might not be in such dire straits. <coughs> I have never filled this uh, shed up with straw so that you can see it. Okay, tea's cold. How we do it? And first bail gone. Bang. Not sure which one's being used now. Where's the bail spike? It's still sitting there like it's bugged to a bale. As soon as it drops flat, the bale it's attached to has been eliminated from the game. And this is part of the problem I've had with um, uh, um, what was it? The Anderson trailer and um, the Anderson wrapper. The bales were just getting all sorts of stuck on each other. Okay, so the bale spikes just dropped to the ground. And we have two more bales to extract here. I suppose what I could do... Take this back to the telehandle now. Good. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that got fixed. And our cow shed should now have. A goodly supply of straw, yeah. Health is a hundred percent. It's 
So maize plus, I believe, modifies the cow's milk production to 22, 23 months, which is why when we got rid of all the cows over two years old, we stopped producing milk for about six months. That was my mistake. We're now producing a good supply of milk. And this tractor just a good size for this yard. Still. I think the Massey Ferguson was obviously a little bit smaller, a little bit more agile. This is still capable. doing okay let's go stab some more bales and see how much of a problem they are I'm gonna assume we end up with exactly the same problem again The other thing you can do is just reset the vehicle and the fork. Okay. Suck that out. all sorts of messed up again. Oh well. I think one of the bales is probably going to fall out eventually. But for right now they're all magicked together. There's a big giant block because why not? Oh, two are going to fall out. Fortunately, not um, chewed up by the uh, robot. Oh, now they're getting magic on me. Oh, seriously. Okay, um, how do we do this? We do this by... Um, this the yard? That's not the yard. This is the yard. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, enter vehicle. There it is. So, we fasten that to that. That's a start. Then we... that to reset to there and the bales have detached so I'm really not happy about um, having to reset a vehicle with a bale spike on the front just because I want to uh, drop some bales off but at its worst it is it is a workaround but you have to use the easy development toolkit to actually get it all functioning which is annoying okay it should be we now have a detected bale in the back However, now that we have, even if these don't detach from the bale spike, it doesn't matter because I'm not going anywhere with the telehandler. So we have to wait until 
you're actually registering that I have 36,000 litres of straw and it's counting down, which means it's now registering that that bale on the back of the trailer is part of the uh, stabbed bales. the telehandler which is semi ridiculous anyway we will unstab that and eject the next one but like I said if I go back to here oh we only have two bales on the spike now I don't too much because we could end up with it's not counting down the bale that's in the trailer oh I can use the easy the vehicle um, inspector to watch when it's empty that's good okay I guess we're doing it that way it counts. <laughs> Seriously. So another thing I might do on the new farm is just install a bunch of silage clamps. And then um, we'll do loose silage. Maize and grass. Whole crop if I need to. Just step away from the bales. I can use a... Uh, a forage wagon or a forage harvester and a forage wagon that doesn't collect okay oh I'm still at that one I'm in the wrong vehicle there we go alrighty I wonder if the bale grabs work better. Let's what? Okay, I have an invisible bale. Hmm. When it actually counts as being part of the uh, that bale is not there. That's weird. That bale is not there, and that bale is there. Okay, well we'll carry the 460 kilo bale over here. Actually, I will drop it there. I can put that in there. We can spread that one good. Now, the other two are broken. I wonder if, again, beaming that into the middle of the field will fix anything. It's still counting as 22,000 litres of strawberries on the front of this Let's try something magical. I'm going to stick this underneath here. And no. Okay. So I need to do, do the thing. Where is it? Oh, I can't. I was going to say I could remove bales. Unfortunately, we have all of the whole crop silage bales out there that are still bales. So I can't eliminate those two bales. Okay, a quick thing then. Um, let me save. 
quit. Yes. Oh, that is. I even even doing this, I don't think this resets the 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 bugged bales. And I can't do anything with those two straw bales until um until I've done something with all the whole crop silage bales. And the whole crop silage bales are gonna be around until August three. See if this fixes anything. Let's go find the. Uh... Okay, this now says, "Oops, there are no bales on the uh, spike." So at least this has reset. Next question. That has reset. Okay, good. I'm just going to move them by hand. That one has vanished. Well, now. Now, that one might have vanished into here. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't look how much straw we had. 30,000, it says. So, potentially, I've lost some straw there. I'm not too worried about that. We now have... Oh. As far as the cows are concerned, we now have um, 103, it's going to be about 114,000 litres of straw in the shed, which is enough to be going on with. They don't use that much. They do make a lot of manure. Oh, I don't know where. I think the cart I use to cart manure around is actually down at... Uh, the BGA. But, um, it's entirely possible that straw bale has fallen through the floor and disappeared into a world of its own. We are done. We also have 95,000 money, which, as I said, is about 6,000 more than we had um, a short while ago. Because it's now game time, 11 o'clock, and we've just had another tick of sales from the uh, BGA. And it's 6,000 income per hour in bed. Okay, stick that in that shed. And let's go get the tiny baler. We've got another crate of tomatoes too. Nice. I should probably look at selling some of the, um, the honey again. I'm not really paying much attention to when honey, yeah, when we have it and how much we have. I'm just selling it every so often because why not? Okay, F first field. Okay, so this is the truck we got. It looks mm, okay, I guess. Lots of scratch paint and it needs a service. What I'm thinking of doing is sticking uh, I think this on the back which allows me to carry all the grains or bales. Um, this one doesn't say what you can carry in it. That's a sugar cane body, so it car it's basically a forage trailer. Um, wood, that's a vehicle transporter. But yeah, we could buy that. Um, modify, oh, 35,000. So modify it for grain and uh, slap it on the back. And it would be good. Uh, 
and maybe I'll do that once we've finished uh, class Arian doing the harvest. Of course I went the wrong way, didn't I? Because the first vehicle on the list is this guy. Squeeze through there. Yes. I think I did see um, Virtual Farmer was complaining. He also drives a Land Rover in his series, and his Land Rover is a covered rear and doesn't have an opening door which the Land Rover we had on Farm Sim 19 you could uh, um, you could uh, open the back door so you can put um, crates of uh, herbicide or whatever seeds in the back of it and it would work. This is going to be tight. Um, but um, the, the mod he's using, you can't open the back door. So it's, it's a good vehicle to drive around in. You can attach things to the back like um, uh, header trailers. Unfortunately, that's about as far as you can go. Um, you can't transport anything on it, in it. You have to get a transport trailer. Now at least mine's got a pickup bed so I can put stuff in the back of it. Okay, like I said, this is going to be frighteningly awkward. He says smashing the... Uh, Okay, that's good enough. Bolts. I mean, I did damage some of the crop there anyway, which is kind of what I was trying to avoid. And we're probably going to break some more before I'm done with this little manoeuvre. close as I can to the head yeah we've there we are we good maybe okay let's unfold this thing drive forward crash into a tree or not that's good and um Enable straw swath. Yes, that would be a thing I want to do because it makes me money. And uh, I can turn the help screen off now. I want to get in the crop and swing it left quickly. So again, this is another field that's full of stones, so we are going to take increased equipment damage we're actually going to have that problem in all three of our uh, fields so actually what I might do is sadly I don't have an auger wagon Because one of the things I am considering, I could have an auger wagon on the side of the field and then truck the grain out. And that's something I might do in the next series, is we'll include a small auger wagon for unloading harvesters into a field side and then truck things from the edge of the field to 